Welcome to Saba Academy. We are going to look at how to draw this figure. The drawing instruments needed to draw this figure include a compass, a rule, your set square. your T-square, your pencil, and an eraser. I would assume you have them ready to draw with me. Let's get started. Before you begin any drawing, always ensure that your T-square is in alignment with your drawing paper as you can see here minus is in alignment with the drawing paper so first let's draw our horizontal base Now, we'll be drawing this square figure. The dimension is 9. But we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 9 by 12 is 108 millimeters. And this is the same as 10.8 centimeters. Now let's measure 10.8 centimeters. Let's call this point A and B. Now, we are going to draw perpendicular lines at point A and B. Let's transfer this 10.8 cm reading onto the perpendicular lines. Now complete the square. Now I'm going to call this curved rod. You can call it whatever you want. All right. Yes, yeah, so I'll call them curved rods. Each rod is having nine millimeters length on this horizontal line. All right. Let's call here C and D.
Stand at point A and draw an arc to meet both ends of the square. Now, before we do this, ensure that the curves are thin because at the end, we'll be erasing some of the rods. If from here to here it's nine millimeters, from here to this point would be 18 millimeters. Now this is the same as 1.8 centimeters. Repeat the same drawing at point B. So you could see the pattern right there. What we'll do, we'll continue the drawing of the axe in multiples of 9. So we've already done for 9 millimeters and that of 18 millimeters. We will now continue by drawing that for 27 millimeters. Then we'll move on to 36 millimeters, 45 millimeters, and so on. So we are done with the easy part of the work. We are going to erase some arcs to have our work look like this. All right. To make the erasing easy, we will name this rod. All right. Let's call this rod one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll call this one. Seven and eight. All right. So rod one is this rod. Two. Three. Four. And so on. All 
Now, if you look at rod one, let me name this so you are able to follow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This rod passes beneath this one, passes on top of this one, beneath this one. You understand? So they are forming an interlocking network. All right. Now to do the cleaning, look at one and the one here. It means I would have to clean here. Let's move on to curved rod two. With this one, you can see that there's only one rod passing on top of it, rod two. So it means we would have to clean this one and leave this rod. So now let's move on to row 3. We are going to erase this part, leave this rod, erase this rod. Alright, row 3, erase this rod, leave this rod, erase this rod. So you can see it follows a pattern. You clean the first one, you leave the second one, clean the third one, you leave the fourth one and so on. Now, let's repeat the same exercise for the rods moving in this direction. Remember we did for these rods. So now, we will move on to these ones. For easy work, Let's name this rod A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So same idea. We clean the first intersecting rod. For B, we clean the first intersecting rod.
From here, let's connect the curves that got erased. Finally, we are done.